The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 26th day of January. And most importantly, what we're looking at here is, and I've got to go, go I'm going to do this real quickly. Eiffel Tower in the uh, five and 10 minute charts, straight up and then straight down. Hasn't taken out that left side low yesterday, but that was a turnaround. I'm going to do this because it's so important. The Dow has made a leg G, <coughs> excuse me, in the daily chart. However, the Dow Diamonds went to a fractional new high. It was a G. So, oh, man, what is this? So I'm going to have to work on that. And I'll tell you why I'm a little upset about this. Uh, let me go through this. The Dow is up nine at 38,587, made a 38,124 all-time high. The S&P right now, the SPX, let me just get to that. S&P is... Um, Trading at uh, minus 621 at 48.88. And uh, all-time high. Now, this is going to be really important. 48.42.07 was the all-time high three days ago. It's just missed that for two days. Day is young, but so far it's missed it. Weekly chart is still very strong. Leg B. Now, let's go to the QQQ. The Qs are down, made a high three days ago, and now it's at 42.79, all-time high. It's just off that at two at 423.72, down 265. Look at the IWM. The IWM is the one that's trying to show, hey, I'm the one that's surviving here. But no, it's actually down. It's up 34 cents, but down from the 205 high that made back in December. So it's taken a while. It's holding okay. It's not great. Gold is trading right now um, down just a fraction at 2017 just kind of stuck and it's kind of stuck because the dollar now this is going to be important look the dollar made that uh, 200 period exponential moving average uh, target that we have 103.73 it's uh, been there three out of the past four days in a peak d holding quite well look at the tbt the tbt that's the inverse of the um, that's the inverse of the TLT, that's the Lehman 20-year Treasury Bond ETF. This is the um, other side of it, and it went right to its peak D on the 200-period moving average. This is really important because it's saying that yields are not, they're not breaking down, but they're not really going up all that much, but they are in the higher range. Uh, let's just go to the TLT right now. TLT is testing the, um, the low support back in December in the uh, 93 area, it's at 93.61, down 35 cents. Have a look at the, uh, what happened here? Oh, oh what a pity. Um, uh, and as we're looking at this, we're going to go to uh, silver. I want to do that as well. Silver is trading down 0.09 at 22.83. Just kind of stuck, can't get out of its own way. Um, High-grade copper did okay, and then all of a sudden it gave back a little bit. But actually, now it's on the 200-period moving average. This is a very important metric that we're looking at in the general economy. Remember, Dr. Copper, it's in everything in the, around the world. That's a, it's an important ingredient. Wood is the iShares. Global Timber and Forestry EDF made a peak F top at about, oh, I'm going to check this out, um, 82.05, right? Yeah, 82.05 on the 27th of December, and it's just making lower lows and lower highs. Um, uranium, I was asked about that if I could follow through, because I said yesterday I thought the uranium had made some kind of a top here that is more likely a G, um, and it's pulling back, and it is. Uh, it's down 46 cents at 52.32, the Sprott Uranium Minus ETF. Uh, we're also looking at, um, what was it? Oh, CCJ, I was asked about. CCJ is kind of the leader there. I call that a, a very strong potential peak F Eiffel Tower type move with a big spike to the upside, peak D in the weekly chart, Kamika Corporation, uranium fuel. Hmm. So this is going to be very important uh, to monitor because, let me just get this right here. Um, why? Because uranium 
the way the chart is acting, it looks to me like this is a multi-month. It's been almost a year uh, since the April low of last year, uh, running uh, all the way from the 20s to to the 50s, and now it's at 45. This is CCJ, kind of the leader of the group. Let me just go back to URNM. Why? Because you see the way the weekly chart, the nine period moving average is so strong over the 14. MACD's good stochastic still at least at 81% on balance volume is falling. And yet the price is holding very nicely. So I consider this is part of a, a, a digestive phase that we're looking at right now. But there is that potential that uranium keeps running in 2024 to the upside. Okay, now what am I missing? Crude oil. Crude oil keeps trying to rally and it, it, it kind of stuck. There's another look how quickly it went from a low to a peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. Peak D is the fourth highest peak. That's that's your objective in a buy mode and minimize a peak D. And then look what happens. Other things can happen at a peak D. Whoosh, it pulls back, has another peak A, peak B, peak C. And today it's in leg D. If it doesn't go above, this is a continuous contract above 77.51, uh, today, it makes a peak D right on the 200 period. How important is this 200 period moving average? Very important. And you made a peak D in the weekly chart way up there back in uh, going into the uh, September, October high uh, of last year. Okay, now I need to do what I wanted to do. Uh, for, actually, you know what I'll do quickly because I'm, I'm liable to forget. And it's, it's a question that came up. And um, it's a question that came up. Could I look at TDC? So I'll do that right now, and then I've got a chunk of things to talk about, most importantly, round numbers. Uh, for those who have been listening to me for, for the last 20-something uh, years, you know that I've been talking about round numbers, and for people who have been with me since uh, back in the old days, when the 1987 crash occurred, I was talking about round numbers then. I got a major buy signal on October the 19th at the close because... There were unbelievable round numbers. Anyway, with that said, uh, A, B, C, D. So this is already T T Teradata Corporation. Doesn't this go back a long time? Seems to me I followed this on and off. Oh, yeah, I can see this for years. Okay, Teradata. Monthly chart says, eh, nothing to see here. Weekly chart says, mm, not bad. It's kind of improved. It has gone. The nine period moving average has flipped to positive. Um, but let's just do this here. So uh, I, um, just to look at it, uh, I, I'm going to do it as if it's a, a buy, hold, or sell, okay? So in this particular instance, it's done very well. Now, all I can say is that if you're in this anywhere in the low 40s, I would just hold it. I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't even take a little bit off, which is what I usually say when there's been a big move. Take a little bit off, money management. I don't think I need to do that just yet. I will do that if it was, and I held it. I don't. Uh, T D C is the symbol 4782 right now up 06, and uh, most importantly, what we're looking at is that the nine is very strong over the 14. The MACD is strong. The stochastic's pulling back, but it's still at 80 percent. On balance volume is pulling back. The relative strength is suggesting to me that over the last three weeks, it's it's starting to um, fade just a little bit. So I'll be back. We'll finish that, and then I want to talk about round numbers. Because I can't believe that I, I got about 25 round numbers on the key stocks that are making all-time highs. To me, that is just a sign that says, whoa, be careful now. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, 
you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, so we're looking at TDC Teradata Corporation. So it's pulling back a little bit. It's having a nice, a uh, little bit of a nice session to have 14 cents. But most importantly, what I would do is this. If it's got all, oh, it's got IA, it's got all the sorts of things that you're looking at. And I'm just going to say to you, I'm looking at the chart. And the chart says on a daily uh, basis, it's had a very good move. It is uh, at this particular point, it is not acting um, badly. But that monthly chart needs to have another week of moving and it needs to move towards the 49.80.50.30 area. If it can't do that, it's going to be stuck for a while because that's what the weekly chart is saying. So it's in the sweet spot just on a daily basis. The weekly has improved. If I don't have it, I personally would wait. I just wait. I think with the general market, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. I think that there could be a pullback to the 4690s. Is it 4790s? About a point. And if Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, if it's actually pulled back to that level, Let's have a look at it and see whether or not, if, if you aren't in it where you want, I, I would get in. And if it does rally and it gets to even uh, 48, 48, 45 ish, somewhere in that area, uh, okay, so you, you're not in it. You know, I, I like it, but I'm just going to suggest to you that I don't see the kind of strength right now to say that the next phase to the upside is about to begin. I will see that if, if it pushes into the uh, into the mid 48s in the next two days, that's Wednesday or Thursday, but I would, sorry, Monday or Tuesday, I would just hold off a little bit. And the only reason is that if it does pull back and it gets into the low 46s by Tuesday, then the weekly chart says, you know, it could take a little longer. I, I'm not saying it's a bad stock. I'm saying it's making higher highs and higher lows on the shorter term. But that weekly chart is just still something I'm watching very closely. Okay, so here we go. Have a, have a, have a listen to this. So for years and years, when, when the October, um, October the 19th smash occurred uh, in the Dow back in 1987, um, most people couldn't get information. I was very lucky. I, I, the computer I had a little, I can't remember, was that when I had a little Mac? Of, that was the only time I ever used a Mac. Um, it was the only thing where I could get this data. But most importantly, um, I, I had a little hand ticker. 
that I used to what I call stock watch. I don't know what it was called. Anyway, it was this clumsy little. It wasn't a little machine. It was actually something that you held in your hand, handheld. Um, and I used to walk around with this. So I was a musician at the same time. I, I was a, 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 at that particular point. I was still a professional musician, and I had started the, this whole stock market thing. And I had just gotten Fidelity as a client. It was my first Fidelity in the technical department. Bob Hill was running it. And what happened was I was looking at the ticker, and the ticker was kind of behind, and then I, I was really busy. I actually had to teach that afternoon. That morning I was free, and I had warned. I said, just be careful. Uh, this is I had already said the previous week that I was expecting a sharp sell-off, and then I had said I'm anticipating a low on Monday. Did I ever anticipate a 506.20% something rally in one day, uh, decline in one day? No, I didn't. And then what happened was I, I got those, I saw the numbers and the numbers that I managed to get, remember the, the tickers were at three hours delayed. You didn't know whether you had your position, whether you got out, whatever. It was a, a horrible mess. Um, and I'd already taken a bunch of money off, except I kept a couple of um, uh, NASDAQ stocks that I had that had done really well. And I thought, eh, you know what, they've done. Those things got cut in half in one day. Um, so a, a lesson learned there. But and most importantly, uh, those round numbers, I remember General Motors, I, I might be making up some of the numbers because it was so long ago, but General Motors had opened at like uh, um, 58 and it had a 44 round number, something like that, uh, low. And all these stocks had these round numbers all over the show. And I thought, this is unbelievable. And I remember going, I had a hotline, and I remember going on the hotline the next day saying, 20th, saying, this is a major low. We should see a new high within, uh, what did I say, 16, 16 months. Um, and one of the reasons was that incredible number of round numbers. But there's a difference when it happens in something like a crash, or it happens in something where if there was just an explosive upside move over the last couple of days, in the general market, and everybody was talking about the market. I don't see that. I've seen a huge move in certain stocks, but this is what I wanted to show you. And this is, let's just go through. So you, I, I don't know if I'll be able to go through them all. Let, let me just show you something really interesting. Um, what did I just write down um, a moment ago? Oh, so I'm really saying to myself, so Tesla, look, Tesla had a round number high on the gap down yesterday. That's usually a clue. And that'll say that if Tesla can close for two out of three sessions above 193, it could try to fill some of the gap. I just wanted to throw that out because that was at a low. And then I'm looking at it and I'm saying, but you keep hearing about BYD. Nobody ever used to talk about BYDF. Just some of us who were looking at these Chinese EV stocks um, knew about it. Um, BYD. Look at that. So Tesla's on its way down to lows. BYD, they keep saying this is the, these are the greatest number of uh, EVs sold, blah, 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 blah. It's at a low. It's at a multi-month uh, multi low, almost a year, a year, almost a yearly low, right? Trading at 24.65 down today. And then I thought, you know, I, I mentioned this the other day that just a staid old company that does the best work you could ever wish for, Toyota Motors, where, where are they? Where are they? What did they do? They had a round number high of 202.00 with a tiny doji Chapman wave. Um, this is called right here, silent doji, because it was it was 201.95 was on the 22nd. Round number high on the 23rd of 202.00. Zero, zero, it's trading right now at 197.77. Just not a big deal. But round numbers matter. Matter. Did I write that in? Or was it matter the only one that didn't have one? Yeah, I think so. Let me see all the others. I can see. But it had a doji candle. That's right. That's what I wanted to show you. Oh, no, no. 390 was the open. That's what I forgot to type in. 390 was the open on the 24th. And that was the high. The high bar with a doji candle had a 390 round number. You can go through it. I defy any of you. Go through all your charts. Have a look at 
especially high number stocks, it's really hard for them to have a round number uh, because, all right, you've got 10 chances in one that you're going to have a round number, but they don't usually have that. You know, fund managers, only when they're getting really excited about buying or selling, snap in a round number. And that's what I always look for. So 390 is the round number. It's a 393 right now. It's higher. That's a good sign. But I'm saying to myself, wait a minute. I, I just, I, I can look, crowd, C-R-W-D. Crowd is down today. What? Why didn't I write that in? Crowd had a, oh, I didn't write it in because it was a little messy. So yeah, we are. What was the high on the um, 24th of January? The all-time high? Well, 298.28 was the high in November of 2021. 299.70. But wait a minute. The day before, we had a high of 302.00. Where is it now? 291.37. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Help, okay. Hi, folks, we're back. Uh, and you won't know it, but during the break, I was getting uh, oh, sound in and out and in and out. So I hope everything's working. So here's CrowdStrike. So as I said, there's a little doji candle, but it is a peak C. It means it could still go to a D. But lo and behold, the day before, what was it? Let me just check that out. Uh, I saw it. Now it's gone. I did have a round number somewhere. 
uh, round number. I don't want to waste time because there's so many others. Yes, that was the day of the 22nd. The high was 302. I wrote 299, but that's wrong. Look at this. We can just go through so many. Oops, and now I just lost the sound again. Crowd strike. Um, crowd strike we did. I, I don't want to do them all. Even Microsoft, even our Microsoft uh, had a four. Uh, it had a round number. It had a little doji candle yesterday. Looking at, oh, I've just got a whole list. Um, Uri. I mean, listen. I mean, this is, I hope you can hear me. Um, someone type into the den if you can't hear me um, because I don't know what's going on. So look at this. 650 was the round number high. It's just unbelievable these things that happened. 650 was the round number high. Where did I type it? Uh, in URI, because I won't be able to find it right now. I wrote it in. It must have, it must have been there. Um, all right, I can't find it. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at Workday. Workday on the 25th of January makes a high, and the high is 298.00. Today it's down, but that also is, I've got it as a peak C. It could go, it could be an alternate count, but isn't that interesting? So what I'm saying is, I didn't want to use that and say, last night, as I'm looking at this stuff, I'm, and I, I started looking at it because I suddenly saw round numbers during the week, and I said, oh, this is interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting. And then I'm looking at the stuff, and as I'm going through, I've got now, uh, out of the um, Investors Business Daily, plus the others that we always look at, uh, the top, top 20 and then the top 50, I'm just going chart after chart, PayPal, now, ServiceNow. Palo Alto, Apple, I mean, every single one of them had either a close or an open or, or a, a low and a round number. And that just says to me, be careful, because at highs, I monitor it, monitor it very differently to at lows. But when I get a number like this, I mean, and now as I'm looking at it, this uh, I missed some of them because I, I, I wrote it down incorrectly or whatever. It, is. it doesn't matter. So what I say to my... Uh, subscribers to my opening call, I said, if a certain index does X, we will then go short. But it hasn't done that. Instead, but last night when I was looking at it, I said, oh, my God, this is going to be terrible. And then I stepped back and I said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at the charts. A lot of them are at highs, but they're in leg C. They could become a peak C, but then we might even still get a D. But this is the area, and what I was saying uh, earlier in the week is that my suspicion, I can't confirm this because I have to have the technicals verified, and the nine-period moving averages are all so strong, that my suspicion is that the Dow um, and the other indices could start to make some kind of a topish pattern on Friday, that's today, and maybe over the weekend, if we have a lousy something on Sunday night, and it has to be almost geopolitical, I, th I don't see it so far in a metric that says it's the economy, because even the statistics this morning, they were actually quite good. 
they were not really bad. I mean, it's not the stuff that says, oh, my God, the Dow's down 350 points, S&P's down 58. This is, a, wow, what a horrible reception. No, it's not at all. So my thinking right here is that um, within the context of what's happening, I want to be wary. And I don't see major sales because a lot of these index, a lot of these stocks, their weekly charts are only in leg B or C. Look, here's Workday. This is only in leg C in the, month, in the weekly chart. So I'm looking at this as a short-term phenomenon that I think we're getting to a level that says there's a little too much enthusiasm. Fund managers are now perplexed. Some of them are just grabbing stocks. A lot of the major stocks, I mean, ZS. Look, yes, ZS. Where's that? Oh, I typed it over there by mistake. Let's do this over here. We've got it, ZS. The S is trading at, uh, of course, uh, the Z scalar is trading at 237.71, down 59 cents. It had, out of three sessions, it had 245.00 as a round number twice. So it had it on the tiny doji, uh, Chapman Wave. Um, this is called, remember, this is the silent doji, the one that occurs not at a high or a low, but the day before the the bar before the bar after. So on the 23rd, it has a round number 245 high. The next day it goes to 246.38. And the very next day it has a 245 high. So it means that, I mean, you're putting in money for a stock that's at $245. And you, you hardly will get a round number if it's you and I putting in a 10, 10 share or 100 share bid at 245 but if uh, a big financial company does it and why are they doing that they're either getting out or they're getting in because they've missed the whole move and they're just desperate and if you look at the candle here a doji candle in leg e in z scalar the all-time high was up in the three in the 300s and here it is at 238 um and it's just steadily making high highs and higher lows in the weekly charts so it just says to me Treat this as a warning to say that there is, this I consider to be a certain degree of hysteria. Some people, some institutions, I'm almost sure it's institutions, are throwing in bids either to get out, just say, hey, I'm not putting in, I'm not going to type in 245.03. I want out, and out says 245, and it's a round number. So I just go through it. I mean, Palo Alto Network, W. Look at this. Today is trading up. 341.94 is up a dollar seventy-five. It has a 350. Oh, oh a, a 339 open on the 19th. I mean, these round numbers all over the show. Dow's up 104. S&P's up 6,000. Chap, and I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I just wanted to show you this before we go further. See, this is the Eiffel Tower, straight up and straight down. And then what happened is it didn't take out the load. To me, that's always very important, this Eiffel Tower pattern, because it says if you're holding the above the previous low, the major low that made that A failure, then um, it could go higher. But if it takes out that previous A, you have to respect it. You have to consider that there's internal strength. That's the reason why, why I was so, oh, what I wanted to say is that, so now I'm looking at the charts last night, and I've got all these round numbers, and then the S&P plunges. And really, uh, for, uh, lately, plunge means down 24, <laughs> 26 points, used to mean 50 points or 60, but it dropped sharply, and I thought, oh, and the Dow was down 120. I thought, oh, I, I have to go short everything and then I said, step back, step back. It's just one signal, one sign. So thank goodness I said, only if certain conditions are met will we even think of shorting. And we have, those conditions have not been met. So let me do this quickly. Um, so, this, so this is the look. It's walking the nine period moving average. Now I needed to mention, right, that's why I wanted to stop right now and do this. Over the, you know, I talk about the two click session and it can happen after the market has opened, uh, it could happen early in the morning between 6.30 Eastern time and 8.30 or when the economic report comes, or it could happen a little later. But at 11 o'clock when my show is finishing, as has happened a lot this weekend, if the nine period in the 10 minute chart, if the nine period moving average is above the 14, look at this from yesterday, if it happens, you can have a pretty decent move to the upside. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, don't be over anxious in wanting to short an uh, intraday basis because this sign right now says just at the moment as we're speaking, there is still a positive technical bias on the short term in the E-mini. Now let me go back to what we were looking at. So a question came in, could I look at, uh, well, let me go in order here. Can I look at, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go? Uh, did TDC, oh, um, Chris wants to know about MSOS. MSOS is Advisor Shares Pure U.S. Cannabis, which has been on a tear. It held that 200-period moving average. Uh, it's got a doji candle today in leg D. The MACD is good. The 9 over the 14. The stochastic's at 87%. Um, now, we have a, we also in the, the cannabis sector in an, in an ETF. It's a different one. They have different chart patterns, actually. This is the one that says that previous high that was made right there on the uh, the week of the 19th, no, the week of the 15th of September at 9.07. That's almost like a target. It's like a magnet line in this cup formation. This is almost like, the. Oh, doesn't this look exactly right here, the rectangle that I've drawn? Doesn't it look exactly like this here? Look. Doesn't it look exactly like that there? 
came down, held the left side low, did the um, Chapman wave single leg A failure pattern, then held, and now it's a brand new move to the upside. The only difference is that's in B in the 10 minute chart, B in the uh, five minute chart in the E mini. And look at this this is um, A, B, leg C. <clears throat> so this is your original A. So it's the same thing. Wow, patterns repeat over and over. They're called fractals. So this is an A, that's a B, and here's your C. And so this is looking very good. I like it very much on a short-term basis at 928 right now. The nine, oh, and the nine, I, I would just say if there's a steep pullback, watch the 860s. That really has to be key support just on the short term. 860s, um, give me a yell if it gets there. But I, I like this. I think this is a sector that's been underplayed for so long that it's starting to get some play. And not only that, it is a political year. What happens? Anything that you can loosen up or whatever um, uh, policies you can change to favor a certain sec segment of the uh, your audience, your populace, your voters, you just loosen them up. So I think this is in play. I might be wrong, but that's what I'm looking at. Okay. So here's the other thing that I'm looking at. Um, so that was one question. Another question came, can I look at DocuSign? So I follow DocuSign a lot. It was one of those that I said has to be in your portfolio because it's not in ours. I always missed it. But DocuSign, electronic signing, uh, made a... Uh, it had a 314.76, a two-bar reversal at a peak C at its all-time high, 314.76. Next bar, a month, goes by with a doge, silent doji candle, and it goes to 314.70, six cents below. And that was in August of 2021. And then it has a little bit of a pullback to the uh, 39s. Uh, was that the actual? Yeah, somewhere in 38, 39. And just a beautiful run from October from under 40 to... 63, I, I mean, you know, a 50% gain. Now, you see the way it's stalled? I'm always a little nervous about these. Okay. This is one of those charts where you actually want to, if, you, if you're not in it, then it makes it very difficult. If you're in it below, you want to grab 64, 76, 64, 70. Amazing. This is the same as this all-time high where 76 was the high and 70 was 76 was the decimal placement on the right at the all-time high, and then the following month was 70 cents. This is 64.76 for the most recent high peak F, and 64.70. Ah, I love those coincidences. Anyway, this is where at 65 you want to add if you're in it. Now, if you're not in it, I'm going to suggest start a position because you've got a narrow rectangle, and it's going to tell you if you're wrong. Why? Because if it starts to trade underneath, so 63.35, I don't think a two-point stop in initial position is a bad thing. Look, if it's 60, 64.70, right? And then the low is 60.70. No, four points is too much. <clears throat> Start a position, it'll be a smallish position right here, it's holding really well, but on this position, I would have half of it, would have a stop at, uh, so it's 64, 70, 63, 37 right now, and 63. No, I think you can do that, and have a 62, you could start your position right now, and at least part of that position should have a 62 stop, or maybe one third of it, because if it doesn't close under it and goes back in, it says, yeah, it's still within the rectangle. So come back into the Remember, rectangle, this is starting off as a narrow rectangle. It can remain a narrow rectangle for a lot longer. So that's all I'm saying. Start your, I like it very much. Start your position. This is not your full position. This is like your starter position. I hope that helped you. Um, next question came in. Uh, yeah, American Express. So this is a big deal. So American Express, hmm, and I just saw as I was putting it in, uh, one of our YouTubers said, I've had American Express for a long time. Congratulations. So this is at an all-time high. I believe it's an all-time high at uh, 204.18, up 16. And it's in leg A, leg B, and I'm calling this a leg C, and only a leg B in the monthly chart, in the weekly chart. 
Wait a minute. Is this a leg B in the monthly chart? Oh, my goodness. Well, I have to call it, in a monthly chart, I have to give it an alternate count, E slash B. But in the uh, weekly chart, I'm calling it a B. Uh, these, this, is, this is good action. That's why I'm saying I don't want to get in, in front of the engine right now because things are so, but I was really shocked when I saw what, 20 or more round numbers at all time highs for absolutely important stuff. It's just telling me things are getting a little bit hysterical. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community, of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hello, so what we're looking at here is um, there are signs for me 
that say, just be a little careful because this market, for instance, here you've got American Express up 15 points. I mean, this is a stock that was at 180 something and now it's at 203. But then you've got Visa down just 379. It was down a lot more earlier at a peak F. Um, and lo and behold, it's, it's still it's a green candle, but down sharply. So the low was 265, uh, 60. I was actually looking for round numbers there. Didn't get them. Uh, but in the meantime, that's that's the relationship we've got here. And that remember, IBM had a fantastic day, and what a United UNH had a lousy day. And what we're seeing is that this more of the dominance of these stronger stocks with their big news up negates uh, what's weak. So I'm saying, just be a little careful here. Start looking uh, a little bit carefully at the market. That's what I'm saying with those round numbers. I don't mess around with them. When I see them, I'm aware. Thank you for Steve Rose. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. Please still staying long.